Here we are with the tibia, one of two bones found in the lower leg of the body. As always, we start off with laterality, trying to figure out if this is left or right, using our markings to help us. First and foremost, the portion that seems looks like a, kind of like the top of the golf tee would be considered the in condyles, and you'll notice these condyles have wonderful facets that allow us to articulate with our femur. In between these condyles are a large intercondylar eminence, as you can see this large, large ridge here. So this is what we would term the intercondylar eminence. This is always proximal, closest to the body. So in our body, if, we, if you are the body, this is closest to you. That's the far distal end there. And so we have this intercondylar eminence with the two condyles, medial and lateral, uh, both having facets in which we are able to articulate with the femur again. Okay, so if we have the proximal, what else do we need? Well, we need what's medial and lateral. And so as we take a look down here, you'll notice a little point which we call the medial malleolus. And by the name, hopefully it gives you the actual direction that we're looking for. That's called the medial side, of course. Medial. A lot of people were like, oh, it's a stylet process. It's not a stylet process. It's too thick to be a stylet process. And so we call it a malleolus. So this is the medial malleolus. So now, of course, the medial malleolus. There's not a lateral one that's on a different bone. This is the medial malleolus being medial. <laughs> kind of strange to say it that way, but that's the way it's it lays itself out. So here we are with proximal, this is medial. Now we just got to figure out if it's anterior or posterior because then in our body, if this is you, uh, towards your body, this is proximal and uh, if this is medial, then they would face on this side. If it's medial on this side, if this is anterior, then this is medial here. So one of the easiest ways to see this large, large marking called the tibial tuberosity in which our quadriceps tendon will attach to. And so this is the tibial tuberosity, and so intercondylar eminence, some condyles with the tibial, tibial tuberosity being anterior. So that's anterior, and so of course now if this is anterior, this is facing forward, this would of course be my right tibia, right tibia, because of course now keeping this proximal to you, this mean medial facing the midline, and of course now this tibial tuberosity being anterior, voila, you have a right tibia. Some other structures, uh, a couple lines on the posterior side, you see this little line that cuts across this way. This is called the um, popliteal line, also known as the soleal line. Some people name it that way, but more likely it's the popliteal line because it's found behind the knee. The regional term is called popliteus or popliteal. So the muscle popliteus will attach there, as well as soleus would, and that's why they mix those up. But that's okay. Uh, so let's review. So we have our two condyles with their facets because we know this is medial. This is the medial condyle of the tibia. This is the lateral condyle of the tibia. In between is the intercondylar eminence. On the anterior surface is a large big bump called the tibial tuberosity. And then the line behind it is the popliteal line or soleal line. And then way down here we have the large medial malleolus. 